it is now becoming more obvious on daily basis as the victory of Biafra continues to excel in different perspective. Esina ane chala chala ne to, and one of the most important facts here is that these people who try to make a mess of the system of Biafrans and the mess of the system of the people of the nation have gone to see and solicit for this very autonomous victory. And when we spread this gospel, we spread it to, to the last order. Now there's, there has been an engagement between four countries and it's very sad that indeed sanction must be made to the European Union and the United Kingdom for refusing to interfere and intercede on our own very brother and their citizen, Mazin Namdekano, that they know that their hand is involved. But if the United Nations does not sanction three or four people, others will not learn. But the questions I get on daily basis is that, is it possible for the nation of Biafra to be free from all this mess, this lies, this hatred? Is it possible? Because this very thing is becoming more frustrating, more uncalled for on a daily basis. But one thing is very, very important here is that people will get to see most knowledgeable stuff that is put across. And that's one thing we understand. That's one thing most people do not understand. There are so many theologies there are so many unwarranted groups. There are so many lies about their friends internationally. But one thing is sure is that no matter the whole stuff that is going on now, Biafra has come to stay. Biafra has come to stay. And why I say that Biafra has come to stay is that if sanctions if sanctions are not made in accordance, then more hideous calamity will be fall. So who and who needs to be sanctioned for the freedom of Biafra to happen? The whole the whole lot of you know stuff that is made. And that is why one of the biggest victory must be put in accordance. A whole lot of lies that must be put in accordance. So let the game and the bargain begin. But I must tell every one of you that a time has come that the necessary thing must be done. Our tribunal has sparked controversy and raised questions about their dedication to the case. Tanko Yunusa, spokesperson for the Labour Party Presidential Campaign Council and witness, shed some light on the party decision to present only a small number of witnesses. <clears throat> Initially, it will be the Labour Party's presidential candidate in the 2020 election had announced his intention to bring forward 50 witnesses who would provide testimony and the evidence supporting claims of election rigging against President Bola Ahmed Tinimbu's victory. However, on June 23, 2023, OB concluded his case after presenting only 10 witnesses, a significantly lower number than original planned. 13 witnesses, if corrected. 
This decision has drawn criticism from members of the ruling of Progressive Congress. That means, if Peter Obi said that he would have been presenting 50 witnesses and end up presenting only 13 witnesses, if corrected, some source says that Peter B had lesser time and even PDP during their own case cases bridged into obese time. So they never had the time to present the 50 cases. Even PDP that said they're gonna present 100 witnesses only presented, uh, only presented, I think approximately 15 or 16 witnesses. So timing was one of the problems that was there. Now, the criticism from members of the ruling party or progressive congress is never necessary. You are criticizing a people who has come to court and presented loads of evidence that most of you could have not presented. You can't even give uh, any tangible reason why Bola Ahmed Tinimbu became the president of Nigeria. No tangible reason. You are laughing at those who say that they are going to bring 50 witnesses to court. In response to this concern, Tanko Yanusa clarified the reasons behind the limited number of witnesses during an interview. He explained that all parties involved had agreed to limit the number of witnesses to a minimum of 10 in order to expedite the proceedings. The agreement was based on the understanding that allocation time would be provided for the defense, questioning and cross-examination. Tanko stated that 30 minutes were allocated for presenting a witness, with additional 15 to 20 minutes for cross-examination. It was agreed that regardless of the proceedings, regardless of the proceedings, regardless of the proceedings, there would be a fewer than 10 witnesses, or the lawyer in the court reached this consensus to manage the time effectively. Tanko explained why it was possible to accommodate 50 witnesses within the given time frame. The decision to present 10 witnesses was made to ensure that the tax could still be accomplished. Tanko further mentioned that even the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, might choose to present only two witnesses or none at all. So this has become a brimstone in the affairs of the Nigerian effect. So those who are mocking Labour Party should calm down at least.